Yo, what's up? Patrick James here, and in today's video, we're actually gonna be switching it up a little bit. I'm gonna give you three books that you need to buy right now. Cue the intro. Okay. All right, because a lot of you have seen my books on my desk right here. I've been getting several questions about what books do I recommend, what books should you read, and honestly, books are a very important part of my life. In my office, I have a bookshelf full of books. Every time I travel or leave my house, I always take at least one or two books with me. Now, does that mean I'm always gonna read these books everywhere I go? No, not at all. But just having the book, like just, just holding one of these in my hand, just knowing that it's in my book bag, makes me feel smarter. Plus, I do actually read these, so I actually am smarter than most people who don't read books. So, uh, in this video, I'm gonna make it very quick. I'm gonna give you three books that you need to pick up today, right? The books are not that expensive, they're easy to pick up. You know, an Audible membership is very cheap these days, and Amazon makes it very easy for you to grab a book. You need to pick these up today because they're very important to you and your success with women, life, business or anything in general, all right? Pick these three books up today. So the first one is one that I've already picked up and it's called The War of Art. Now, if you've ever struggled with procrastination, if you've ever struggled to just get started on any project that you know could take your life from point A to point B, you know, just blow it up, right? If you've ever struggled with getting started or you know, you get started and you stop, get this book right here. It's gonna kick your ass into gear. When I first picked up this book, uh, and I started reading it, I was actually procrastinating from doing a big project, working on a big launch of my own business, my dating business, and uh, literally about 30 pages in, I just had to put this book down and get started because I was that motivated to go, all right? So, The War of Art, uh, Stephen Pressfield. All right, so the next one, how to win friends and influence people. You can't be surprised that this book is on my list, but if I had to narrow down any book that I've ever read and think about which ones do I actively apply every single day of my life, right? Multiple times a day, it would be this one. You know, you've always heard me say, like, especially my products, I say, people's names are the sweetest sounds they'll ever hear, or everybody loves to talk about themselves. Those are just two of probably the hundred gold nuggets I picked up in this book about the way people work, and I apply those every single day to every interaction that I ever have. Get this book you are basically losing in life without it. So the third book I wanna recommend that you need to pick up tonight, all right, is Outwitting the Devil, all right? So a lot of people, actually I have this book, a lot of people may have heard of Think and Grow Rich, uh, which is written by Napoleon Hill, but because I wanna be a little bit different, um, I don't wanna just recommend the same book everybody else would, um, but this is a good book as well. But Outwitting the Devil is a new one that came out by Napoleon Hill, and it came out in around, let's say 2012. And the reason this came out so late, even after he died, he wrote this years and decades ago, is because he imagined that he had a conversation with the devil. Now, he was so convinced that this person, this entity inside of his head, was the real devil, that he never put out this book because he was convinced that this book would actually um, change the way people approach their lives and their success. And he was convinced that if you put this book out, he would get like cursed by the devil. So they put it out after he died, but he had already written it, um, which already makes it very intriguing to read. But I read it and it was like, boom, 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 truth bomb, truth bomb, truth bomb. Blew my <laughs> mind, dude. Like literally in this book, one of the major things he talks about is like how most people are just drifting through life, right? They wake up and you know, they go with the flow. They get a job that everybody else tells them they should get. They eat all the shitty foods that is just readily available to them. They don't really have much purpose. They don't really have much passion. They procrastinate, they masturbate, and then they die at the end not having achieved anything, right? And so the whole point is that the devil, his goal in life is not to make you sin or to make you have sex or to make you do bad things. His goal is to keep you a drifter in life. So let me ask you this. Do you want to be a drifter in life or do you want to live to your fullest potential and succeed in every area possible, right? I don't know about you, but I do not want to be a drifter and all the guys who follow me on Raw Dating Advice do not want to be drifters either. So pick up this book. It's going to teach you about what a drifter is and how you can never be like one and it's going to motivate you just like this, just like this, to 
kick your ass into gear to succeed in every area of life possible, especially with women. He actually talks about what attracts women in this book as well, so it's great. Now, there's a couple other books because, you know, there's hundreds of other books that you can obviously read tonight, so these two I would obviously also recommend, but, you know, I've also I've already made a video recommending these, so I don't want to be too repetitive, but ah. it. The Way of the Superior Man. If you want to learn how men and women relate to each other and why they do the things that they do, pick up this book. And if you want to just, you know, be confident all the time and be the most charismatic version of yourself, definitely pick this book. Read it multiple, multiple, multiple times and make it your, your handbook, your Bible to personal development. And last couple notes here. You may have noticed that I'm wearing a little orange band right here. It's actually because I went and got tested for STDs today because I'm a safe sex practicer. So if you've been following raw dating advice for any period of time and if this advice is working for you, then you might want to also get tested, you know. And last thing, talking about books here, I am writing a book. The rumors are true. I am writing a book about 107 proven ways to get the girl. Now, this book is literally going to give you 107 different tactics, techniques, lines, things that you can do to get any girl, no matter what period or what part of the dating process you are with her, even if you're in the friend zone, it's going to attract her, right? 107 proven ways to get the girl. But like I said, you have a couple months before you can worry about getting that book. Um, but if you can do anything for me tonight, one, go get tested, two, pick up these three books, How to Win Friends and Influence People, Outwitting the Devil, and The War of Art. And just for your convenience, I put some links directly to those Amazon book pages down below because I want you to have zero excuses to succeed in life. There's no reason why you shouldn't have a few books to uh, rely on to teach you how to be successful in life, in any area of life, and these are three books that will help you to do that. On that note, if you liked this video, if you liked me kind of recommending books and why I think they're awesome books, uh, give me a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and turn on my notification bell, and once you do turn on my notifications, scroll down below, leave a comment telling me that you are part of the notification squad and I will give you a shout out in my next video. And lastly, if you have any questions that you would like to see featured in a future video, I've set up a page below where you can ask me any question directly. If I like the question enough, I might even reply to it by email personally and it could be featured in a future video of Raw Dating Advice. On that note, I'll see you later, man. Peace out.